Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. In this video, we will be looking into the three phase commit. So, in the previous video, we have seen two phase commit. Now, if two PC was there, why was three PC introduced? What was the need of three phases now? I'll, I'll give you a scenario and you will clearly see that why three PC was introduced. So, this was the two PC, right? So, here was the order service, the payment service, and the inventory service. The client comes, sends the request for order service to place an order. Internally, the request goes to payment service and inventory service to check the payment, take the payment to check the inventory, re reduce the inventory by the required quantity. Now, this the, the phases were the voting phase and the commit phase, only two phases. The first one was the voting phase and second one was the commit phase. Now, I'll give you one scenario, okay? During the voting phase, what happens is order service says, are you all ready to commit? The payment service checks its own payment details and says, I have payment details with me. I can ask the payment if you ask me to commit. Inventory service also says, I have enough inventory with me. The required quantity will not make the system inconsistent. I'll have the positive inventory even after serving this order. So I am also ready to commit. When both of them are ready, they would vote yes to order service. Now the next thing order service has to do in the commit phase is to ask them to commit their changes. In that phase, payment service will take the payment from the user and inventory service will reduce the quantity in the database and will commit the changes. But what happens if before sending commit, the order service or the coordinator dies? The payment service and inventory service are still waiting because they have sent, yes, we are prepared. I have my payment details. I have my proper inventory. I am waiting for order service to tell me to take the payment and reduce it from the database. But since the coordinator died, payment service is still waiting. It is waiting for order service to give a command. So in the commit phase, if the coordinator dies, what will happen? The payment service is stuck. It doesn't know whether inventory is there or not. Inventory is stuck. It doesn't know whether we are ready to take payments or not. In both the cases, it is a blocking issue. So either it will wait for the coordinators to come again and give a command to commit or roll back or else if it doesn't happen, then it will have a timeout configured. For example, for two minutes, both will wait and then it will say, I didn't receive any command. So by default, it is roll back. So payment service will not take a payment and inventory service will not reduce anything and everything will be rolled back. So two PC was a critical blocking issue when the coordinator dies during a commit phase. So three PC was introduced with an extra phase in commit. So this was an issue when commit command was not given to payment service and inventory service and both are blocked. Now what happens is with the three phase commit an extra pre commit command is given from coordinator to other participants. So that if the coordinator dies in the pre commit itself, the participants do not have to block and by default, they will assume that it's an abort and they will roll back because the order service is down, the coordinator is down. So this is an extra phase which helps you to reduce the likelihood of blockness issue. I will tell you in few minutes, the blocking is still there. I'll tell you when it is still there in the 3PC, but still it is reduced as compared to 2PC. So if the coordinator fails before sending the pre-commit message, the other participants unanimously agrees that the operation was aborted and everybody will roll back. So 3PC is just an extension to 2PC wherein the commit phase is divided into two phase. So this prepare phase or the vote phase still remains the same that is of 2PC. The only change that 3PC do is in this phase, the commit phase. The commit phase is now divided into two phase, pre-commit phase and do commit phase. In the pre-commit phase, after receiving yes in the voting phase with everybody, coordinator asks all the participants to prepare to commit. And during this phase, all the participants acquires the log, but nothing is committed in DB yet. So in 2PC, what happens is here, the inventory service was reducing the uh, inventory, but it was not committing it to database with the commit. So here also, the inventory service will not do the commit until the third step that is to commit. It will still ac acquire the log. It will reduce the amount but it will not commit until the do commit commands comes from the coordinator so an extra step is added here where uh, after getting the acknowledgement that yes everybody is ready to commit everybody has proper locks acquired and everybody is still alive then coordinator says now commit so this is an extra step 
to just check the activity of all the participants whether they are still active and if the coordinator itself is also active other participants also are not in dilemma that coordinator might die so just an extra step an extra check whether everybody is actually ready to commit or not so if coordinator receives yes from all the participants during the prepare to commit phase then it will ask every participant to commit so a pre commit phase introduced helps us to recover from the case when participants or the coordinator or both the node fails during the commit phase so this is important thing this is the safety of failures during the commit phase not during the voting phase so steps in 3pc what happens actually is the first phase is can commit it says yes then if it if anybody says no it will say roll back if everybody say yes then it will ask for the pre commit and if everybody says yes then only it will say do commit else it will say roll back this was the happy scenario now what if my coordinator dies in the commit phase that is after the voting phase so now when the coordinator fails in the second phase the secondary coordinator takes in charge of coordinating that means some another node will take a charge of coordinator because your existing coordinator dies now when it happens then it queries all the participants about their current status now i'll explain you this with this particular diagram so if order service dies another coordinator comes and it will ask the payment service and inventory service did any one of you have received the commit or a pre commit command by the order service or the last coordinator and if the coordinator the new coordinator sees that yes some nodes are in commit phase that means the previous coordinator before dying has already made a decision to commit and hence it will ask everybody to now commit because the previous coordinator has already taken a decision to commit that is why one of the participant is in commit phase but what if the participant says that none of us have received a prepare to commit message that means the new coordinator knows that even before the pre commit message was sent by the coordinator the coordinator might have died or else somebody would have said no in both the cases it can safely assume no participants are in commit state that means no changes are done into the system and that is committed by any of the participant and i am very safe to abort the whole transaction otherwise if the payment service has taken the payment but inventory service did not reduce it then you are in a problem because previously you have committed the changes from one microservice another microservice is still hanging blank then that is a problem so that is why whenever a, a coordinator dies in the commit phase and it might have sent a commit to any one of the microservice then your system is in very much danger that was an issue with 2 pc this is reduced by 3 pc because now it will ask everybody on coming back that is any of the service is in the commit phase if any one of them then everybody should commit if none of you are in commit phase everybody roll back it seems so good right but there are multiple drawbacks with 3 pc also because it is synchronous for sure there will be latency issue you know that synchronous or synchronous difference right synchronous make sure that end to end complete flow happens or complete flow gets rolled back but when everything is happening end to end you are bound to face some latency issue your time will increase and your user experience will decrease so first of all with 2 pc comparing the 3 pc 3 pc introduces an additional phase of pre commit it makes the protocol more complex and difficult as compared to 2 pc so yes a pre commit and acknowledgement still added as added complexity to 3 pc now increased latency now in introducing an extra three phase commit the overall transaction time also increases because now it will ask can i commit they would say yes they would say okay are you really ready to commit it will say yes i am ready to commit then commit okay we have committed so can you see too much of network messages going here and there and here i have just two participants it will have to wait for all the microservices if i suppose i have 100 microservices my order service will wait for each 100 microservice to come back and say yes ready i am acknowledging yes i am really ready and yes i have done the task and then only order will service will say okay your order is now successful so what happens if one of my microservice is a very huge microservice loads of data is loaded into it and it is a slowest microservice 
so all the other microservices will wait until the slowest microservice will end its task so that is why all the resources by all the other services are also logged and the whole transaction is not yet completed until the slowest one finishes so that is why the latency is increased in the synchronous communication part now blocking during recovery so whenever in the commit phase if the coordinator dies then a new coordinator comes now new coordinator will send messages to payment inventory in all the services and it will wait for all the service responses if any one of them is in commit everybody has to commit or else everybody so can you see every service response is required so since response from all participants are important again blocking issue is still there during the recovery recovery means order service going down and order service coming back or another coordinator coming back also it's not decentralized it still depends upon the coordinator to take the decision also there is too much of messages complexity i told you there are six messages coming here and there if there is only one participant and as, as the number of participants increases these messages also increases so increased message complexity can lead to a higher communication time increased latency the next one is inability to handle the fail stop models now we have multiple models where there is a fail noisy model and fail stop model and many more models if you want to know about these models in a distributed transaction just let me know in the comment section i'll create a very separate video for this particular models now the 3pc assumes a fail noisy model what does that mean that means that if participant can fail then it will for sure recover that is a fail noisy model but what is fail stop model that means that participant fails but will never recover again that means that is a stop for that particular microservice now 3 pc is unable to handle that situation very well so 3 pc will not work in that situation it will expect every participant to be up at any time in future but it should not be stop forever dependency on synchronous communication so as you know it is mostly a synchronous communication so 3 pc relies on synchronous communication between coordinator and participant which is not very ideal in many of these situations like e-commerce website if you are sending an email why should order service be waiting why should the cart service be waiting why should browse service be waiting you are sending an email send an email why should we be waiting so in e-commerce situations this synchronous communication is not usually very helpful also you might find at some places that 2 pc and 3 pc can be synchronous and asynchronous both and in that case i'll tell you why they do say that when they say that they are synchronous that means the coordinator can send the particular message to participants and will wait until the participant does not reply once they get a reply then only they say send another and and this is how that is synchronous and most of the time you would see this as a synchronous communication only at some point of time there can be a asynchronicity in the 2 pc or 3 pc also that means when it is asked to commit it might not wait for the response that they have committed or not it will it can assume it has committed and will send the client that yes they have done later on their acknowledgement kind can come to coordinate that yes they have committed also here the acknowledgement can be the same case in the 2 pc so here there can be a case that acknowledgement might be coming on later on coordinator as soon as they say commit it will send the client the response that yes everybody is done but usually asynchronous communication is avoided during the 2 pc and 3 pc they usually wait for the acknowledgement then only sends the client that yes your order is successful otherwise it will give the bad user experience that first you said it was successful but any of your participant was not able to send acknowledgement then the coordinator goes to the client and says oh hello i'm sorry your order is not successful one of my participant died in between during the commit part and did not send me acknowledgement so that is a very bad user experience so that is why i say that 2 pc 3 pc is more towards the synchronous communication so that was all about the 3 pc now the there is a reason why 3 pc and 2 pc is introduced because we want more deterministic response to the client so if client says place an order at the end i want that you should tell me order is placed successfully or cancelled do not come back later on to me to roll back and say no no sorry initially your order was successful but my payment was not successful so now i'm sorry your order is failed i do not want that i want a deterministic response at the end though you'll give it late but give it a proper response in that case a synchronous communication comes into picture but if it says that okay if i have a order service i have a payment service and then i have a email service 
so i can have that okay even though you do not want to wait make your client wait for even the email notification you can uh, have a saga design pattern which says at some point of time email will be sent to the user even though your queue will broke your uh, consumer will break both of them will have multiple notes multiple brokers multiple consumers and later on they might revive and they will send an email to the client so order service will not wait for email service in that case eventually consistency is okay and that's where saga can be implemented so saga design pattern does not enforce distributed asset transactions so it doesn't say that it happens complete or it doesn't what it says is eventually your email will be sent but as of now you can say that is order is successful so now when to choose synchronous and asynchronous so when to choose 2 pc 3 pc and when to choose saga design pattern so if you are in a financial transaction that means you are sending a transaction from one place to another i want that at the end i should know that your transaction is successful or not i would not want to see that i'll have a green tick yes your money is sent from a to b later on you come and say that sorry there was some network issue your transaction is failing so in financial transaction that is not allowed if you sent a transaction i should get a response that yes it is sent or not so financial transactions are very straightforward money deducting money crediting to another a strong consistency is required to prevent any disparency in account balances otherwise debited credited debited credited you will be very irritated with such kinds of account statements so blocking during commit phase even in the case of failures is okay because the integrity is at the top priority i want it at the end if it is deducted do not give a credit back the 2 pc protocol ensures that both the accounts are equally atomic that means if one participant is deducting another is getting updated and the system remains in the consistent state at the end so where atomicity is very much important or the asset properties are very important go for synchronous communication that is 2 pc but when you have an order you have multiple services and they are working independently no need for tight coupling or you are you are trying to search for a particular product while you have already placed an order since you do not get an email for the previous order why are you stopping to search the another product email might come later on to your mail at least i should be given a chance to browse and uh, search another products why should i see a timer going on okay email is going to send now email is getting prepared email is i don't want that so in that case you can go for saga design pattern even if your email sending fails or your payment say fails your system can say a compensating transaction saying sorry your order is now cancelled e- even though it was initially was trying to place an order but now it is cancelled because other services are down so it's more of a loose coupling and partial rollbacks can be done that is the way the, the saga design pattern works and we have already created a video for saga design pattern also for the choreography and orchestrated design pattern so 2 pc is suitable for scenarios where asset properties are very much important on the head other hand saga is good for loose coupling independent services where compensating transactions are okay and asset properties are not always required for saga we have already created a video for the same just let us know in the comment section if you want to know more about these models the fail safe fail fast fail stop fail noisy all such kind of models just let us know in the comment section i'll create another video for the same thank you